hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am bd and in today's video i will be showing you how i put together an at-home bar and cocktail station perfect for entertaining your family and loved ones and friends safely this season so if you want to see how i put this together just keep on watching So for this bar and cocktail station, I needed to figure out the essentials. And of course, no bar is ready to go without liquor. So I went and purchased the items that I know I would actually use. And to do that, I considered the cocktails that I order when I'm out at a restaurant. So I know that I like a margarita, so tequila was definitely a must. And I am a Mai Tai girl, so rum was also something that I wanted to have on hand. And my favorite cocktail of all time is a sidecar so cognac was definitely a must and I think vodka is just a great staple to have on hand because it can be used in so many different cocktails so that was basically the thought process behind my purchases. I picked up a few liqueurs. Liqueurs are alcohol that have been infused with fruit or floral notes and they are really great when you're making cocktails. So I got Miss Midori, you know, great for Midori Sour, something everyone is super familiar with. I also picked up some Saint Germain. Saint Germain is a nice citrus and floral infused liqueur. It reminds me of lychee fruit for some reason, even though there's no lychee in it. And I got Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier is an orange liqueur that also has cognac in it and it is a must for a sidecar. I definitely wanted to get some mixers for cocktails and I chose flavors that reminded me of summertime. So definitely needed some strawberry on hand. I love strawberry anything, so that was an easy pick for me. And I also picked up white peach, passion fruit, and watermelon. The great thing about these mixes is that you can use them in a variety of beverages. They don't have to be limited to alcoholic cocktails, so keep that in mind. Now every bar station definitely needs the tools of the trade and some of the main items I would recommend getting are a jigger and a shaker and a strainer depending on what kind of cocktails you're going to be making. I picked my items up from the Target dollar spot but I'm sure you can find a set on Amazon at a reasonable price. Now I am assembling everything and to keep everything in one place, I picked up an acrylic tray on Amazon. I chose clear so that this could transition from season to season and work with my decor year round. I'm also placing my blender nearby because this will be handy when I need to make margaritas or frozen daiquiris, anything like that. And now I'm just putting everything in its proper place. A couple of bar extras that I decided to add to my station are simple syrup and grenadine. I like a sweet cocktail so simple syrup was definitely something that I needed and a few cocktails call for grenadine so I just wanted to make sure that I had some on hand. Thank you. 
This bar mat is also from the Target Dollar Spot. I got it around the holiday time and I like it because it is a nice place to keep glasses and things as you are making your cocktails. So I am placing that right in front along with the mixes right on the side of the tray. For the glasses, I just used some glasses that I had on hand in a variety of different sizes and shapes so that I have some options when making cocktails. So this is the finished product. I really love how everything came out. I think I have everything that I need to entertain and make cocktails for my close loved ones and family. And I am really excited to just entertain safely and have the turn up be at home. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will have a cocktail video coming up shortly showing you how you can use some of the things that I showed in this video. So you definitely want to be tuned in for that. Make sure that you turn on your post notifications and like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.